In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to take an ordinary WordPress website, install a plugin, and then have that plugin communicate with the Clover so that online orders can be processed through the Clover POS. And it's very simple and very straightforward, so I'm going to walk you through the steps. Okay, so what we have here is a WordPress website. As you can see, we have the information, description, the menu, all the pages here. We have home, about us, menu, hot deals. So now we have four. We're going to add one more button here called, actually, we're going to add two more two more menu items here. Uh, we're going to say order online and my orders. The reason for these two is one is for the customer to order and the other is for them to reorder. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll do is log into the back end of the website. I already have that opened up. You're going to click on plugins, press add new plugins. And then in the search bar, just type in Clover. And then you'll see <clears throat> Uh, plugins here. So find this plugin right here called Smart Online Order for Clover and then press install now. Okay, and then once you press install now, uh, just give it a few seconds for it to install. Once installed, press activate. Okay, great. Now we have it installed. Now, what we do next is we're going to go ahead and go to Clover Orders. Uh, you'll see this thing on the left hand side. This wasn't there before, now it's there press settings and then what you would do from here is you'll put the API key okay uh, API key is very simple to get <clears throat> you would just install the app on clover.com and then it'll give you the API key and then if you don't see it just open it up again again you can watch this video here or uh, search YouTube how to get the API key but it's pretty easy you can also click on this link to get it I'm gonna go ahead and put the API key in once the API, API key is entered, uh, you basically, uh, next step is uh, save, save changes to make sure your address is correct. So we have here Rancho Cordova, uh, California 95670, and it's on the right spot here. And I'm just going to press save changes. Okay, and the next step after you do that, it will be import inventory, which is right here. This is a very important step to import your inventory to show up, so it shows up on the website. So let me, let me tell you what I mean by that. Right now... <clears throat> See, there's no um, place where it shows the inventory. It shows the menu, which is, you know, um, if you have this button on your website, menu basically means, you know, you know, you can see the menu on the website, like see our pizza sites and all that. So, <clears throat> but the menu I'm talking about is the order online menu. Okay. See, this is different. So here's the one I'm talking about. The one I'm going to talk about, I'm going to add that right now. But first, in order for that to show automatically, you have to press import inventory. I'm going to go ahead and press it. And then uh, give it a few seconds. Sometimes, depending on how many items you may have, it'll take a while for it to show. Now that it's been updated, uh, we're gonna have to press refresh so that information gets added to the website. Okay, good. Now we have the uh, in the inventory imported and on the website. Now the next step is to check the order types. There's two order types. We've got delivery and pickup. If you're doing both options, just leave it the way it is. If you're not doing delivery right now, press edit and press disable it. Uh, that way your customers don't order something for delivery. Okay, uh, we're not going to mess with that right now, but just good for you to know. Categories and items. Again, this is important. If you uh, if you don't want to, for example, if you don't want to offer salad, just hide it. If you want to offer it, leave it enabled, okay? So this we're going to leave it the way it is. Modifier groups, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want... For example, we have combo pizza. This is the order uh, people add modifiers to their pizza toppings. I'm gonna leave that one the way it is for now. Uh, checkout settings. Uh, you can you can allow uh, login to checkout so people can make an account. Uh, pay online, pay location, pay upon delivery. Pay online means pay with credit card online. Okay. Um, you can say you know what, don't pay online, only pay at the store. But for now, I'm gonna leave all of them open. If you have SSL then you can disable this. So I'm going to go ahead. So this one is already SSL on the website. We're going to turn this off because we're going to use the checkout page on the website. Um, okay, and let's take a look at your coupon codes. Again, this is very, uh, this is really good to have. I'm going to go ahead and enable this. I think uh, you will, uh, this will come in handy, especially when you enable the perfect coupons because you can print coupons in your Clover, get the word out so people can order online from your website. So this is a good feature to enable. It's called Perfect Coupons. You go to, go to the Clover App Market, and then you can download Perfect Coupons, and then people can use the coupons on, online. Uh, tips. I think tips is a good idea to enable, especially for a pizza shop. 
uh, verify with SMS. Everything else you, you can read through here if you want. Um, but I'm going to go through it very quickly just to kind of show you the basics. And then saving the changes. <clears throat> Typically, when I first install this for uh, for a customer, I just make a default uh, five mile radius, and then and then afterwards they can change that themselves, or we can update that. And I'll just put minimum order ten bucks. Delivery fee, I'll put three dollars. Again, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, within 10 miles, I'll deliver the pizza for $3, but you have to spend 10 bucks. That's what I'm basically saying, okay? So here, I have, sorry, did I say 10 miles? Five miles, sorry, five miles. You can order the pizza within five miles of my location, and you'll get charged $3, and but you have to order a minimum of 10 bucks. That's what I'm saying here. And I'm gonna press validate. Again, uh, you can say, hey, if a customer spends 100 bucks to get free delivery, you can do that. So you can say like that, but I'm, I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Um, you can also charge a different delivery fee. Let's say they order from right here, you can charge $10 delivery fee if they order like out here if you want. But again, that's up to you. You don't wanna drive all the way out here. So we're gonna leave that blank. So we're gonna press save changes. Now that we got saved, now we got the changes saved for uh, that, we're gonna go to the next step, which is um, store interface. Um, this is optional. Again, uh, there's five of them you can choose from, but I think the one we have right now is good for now. So we're gonna leave it the way it is. And then let's go back to settings again. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. We have everything done. Uh, let's go ahead and do something uh, over here. Let's go and uh, add the pages to the website. Appearance, menus, okay? The reason why we're doing this is because right now on the home page we have home about us menu hot deals okay but we also want to add order online and order online is right here order online add to page my orders add to page so we have order online and my orders now i'm going to save this menu and i'm going to refresh the page so you can see what it looks like okay now i'm going to go back to the main website i'm going to press home i'm refreshing the page now we got home about home about us menu hot deals order online my orders now we have two more again this is to order online so let's go ahead and click on it and let's see there we go we got the order online page very good see we got combo pizza we got in, in uh let's go show more here okay so they have uh, 16 different types of pizzas here good selection of choices here and we have side orders here Okay, we have buffalo wings. Okay, good. Let me see how much more of this they have. Okay, so they have a good selection of uh, food here. So now, uh, if you want to add pictures to it, you can. Uh, let me show you how that's possible. But before I do that, let me show you something else. See, when I add a combo pizza to my cart, it's going to ask me which kind of pizza I want. Small, medium, large, extra large. So you can choose these options. Um, in this case, uh, it's also good to add more modifiers to uh, so people can select, um, you know, how much cheese they want or how much pepperoni they want, on which side they want. So this one only gives them these options. So in this case, I recommend uh, updating the Clover. Remember to update the menu, you have to do it from the Clover POS. So you go to Clover.com and then update the menu. Once you update it, you go back here and press Sync. So right here. So let's say. You forgot to add some pickles or onions or toppings or you forgot to add drinks to your uh, to your to your uh, Clover POS and you don't see it on the website. Go to your Clover.com, add it, and then come here and then press update. So if you added modifiers, press update modifiers. If you change categories, press update categories. If you change items, press update all items. Again, you do it from here. Settings, import inventory. Um, okay, so this is good, um, but let me show you one other thing. I'm gonna add a picture to specialty pizzas. So let's see, I'm gonna choose a pizza here. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. And I'm gonna, for salads, I'm gonna choose a salad. Let's see, salad, salad, salad. Okay, this is salad, right? Yeah, is that a salad? Um, yeah, I believe that's a salad. Yeah, okay. Salad and then side orders. What's a side order? Okay, we'll just choose this one. Actually, let me just see what a side order is first. Oh, cheesy steaks cut. Okay. Okay, so this qualifies for a side order. Okay, now we have three pictures added. Now we're going to refresh the website. Now we're going to see three pictures. It's good to have pictures, see? Specialty pizzas, side orders, salads. Okay, so um, this is how we uh, how it's uh, basic setup. Uh, now it's... Uh, 
to fine tune it, you will have to log in and add descriptions to it. You know, you click on here, add description to the items, what it comes with. For example, if medium uh, specialty pizza comes with, um, right here, add description. If it comes with extra sauce or, or, or it comes with like a, a specific toppings or something, you add that here so customer knows what that what it comes with. So for example, it says here, um, soda. Where did I see that at? Soda, soda. I thought I saw soda here. It says soda. Uh, you want to mention what kind of soda that is, right? It just says two liter soda. So you, you want to mention what that is. Okay, and that's how you make the changes to it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, just come here to the back end of the website. Say, um, this is a Sprite. Okay, that's how you make change to that. Uh, this is a ranch. You can say, this is uh, ranch flavor. Again, you want to add description to all these items. Okay, to make, uh, to, so people know what it is. And the other thing I recommend is when you go to your Clover POS um, to uh, add modifiers to this because right now garlic uh, pizza or chef special pizza, your customers may not want tomatoes with it or, or, uh, or pepperoni with it or they do. You want to change that so they have more options. And I'm going to show you how, what I mean by that. So let me show you another website. See, I have this other, um, another business owner using a smart online order. So you can see his pizza is more detailed. See, he says vegetarian pizza. And then he has options. See, see for example, I can choose a different size and I can choose different uh, toppings, right? See how this is, has more options? So you will need to add these options on your Clover POS inventory app. Um, when you compare it with this one here, I just it just gives you one option and just says size. See, you want to have more than just a size option. So make sure to go to the Clover inventory app to add that. Okay, so that's how um, that's one recommendation I would give you is to uh, add modifiers to your pizza choices so people can customize it more. Because right now you may get a lot of phone calls. People are gonna ask you, um, hey, I'm gonna order in the garlic chicken pizza, but when I add it to my cart. Uh, all I can choose the size. I want extra pepperonis or I don't want pepperonis. How do I do that? And you want to offer them that option. So let me show you another example of a pizza website uh, that, that is using Smart Online Order. Uh, give me one second here. Let me pull it up. Okay, here's another pizza website with Smart Online Order. See this one? Uh, let's see what they have here. I have a Philly steak, chi Philly steak, Philly cheese steak large pizza. Let's see what kind of toppings they get. Okay, I get thin crust, no onions, extra meat. Okay, let me try something else here. Okay, this one is uh, also has different. Okay, let me try uh, cheese sticks here. I'm trying to find uh, one that has lots of options because the more options you give your customers, the better it is. Uh, let me find another website here. Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, see how they have their pizza menu set up. Uh, I'm just trying to find. Uh, so this one, let's see how they have it. Um, this one is using Store Interface 5, and you can do that too. Uh, let's click, or, let's order pizza here. And let's order a 14-inch um, pizza. Okay, see this one has it, uh, left toppings, right toppings. Okay, see how they have it as toppings, uh, different sizes, different, so you can have uh, one here, one here. So how do you do this stuff? You do it on your Clover inventory app, okay? So you go to clover.com. Let me show you how to get there. See, you do from here. This is Clover inventory, and then you add your pizzas and your sides and all that. And once you do all those changes from your Clover inventory, and then you go back to your uh, website, and then you press sync, okay? Um, and then you sync the website. So that's where you do it. So anyhow, so the, the, the next step is to kind of uh, give your customers more options uh, in terms of toppings on which sides they want it. You can leave it the way it is, uh, and your customers may not mind, but I recommend doing that uh, for this particular website. All right, okay, thanks for your time. Have a good day.